Back on Sports Bit, Betty and Insight today, Paulie and Teddy. Time for the deep dive. Had Jay Cornegay on the radio show today, the top man over at the Westgate. One of the biggest nights of the entire sports betting year. The Westgate releases this year going to be 400 props. People love this. It's action every single play. We'll be talking about more of them next week. But a couple things here, Teddy. Number one, things to do, things to avoid, not to do as well. Focus on props that are officially graded, not sportsbook graded. We went through this a couple years ago where, uh, well, at least it was a big story with the national anthem where some places had it over and other places graded in an under. Yes. Again, let let me rephrase this and repeat this very clearly. Focus on props that are officially graded. That means from the NFL.com website, not sportsbook graded. So you want to know how long is the national anthem going to be? What color is the Gatorade going to be? Will Lady Gaga have a wardrobe malfunction? You're on your own, all right? You're left with the sportsbook grading as they see fit or how their money flow sees fit. You ever seen a Lady Gaga concert? How the hell do you determine what's a legit wardrobe or what's a malfunction anyway, Polly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember a couple of years ago we had two different color Gatorade dumped on the coach? Yup. That was another yep. one too. And the confusion was contagious on that one. And again, it's these are bets... Well, I'll talk about them in a minute, but the type of bets that are not going to be officially graded but are going to be uh, sportsbook graded are going to be the type of bets that, you know, action junkie bets, <laughs> not legitimate advantage bets. I mean, maybe you have a situation where somebody knows something and there's a legit advantage, but most of the stuff's action. Find action where you can win and where the sportsbook's not going to screw you because uh, the sportsbook can screw you on these. They really can. Yeah. Number two, make sure you understand exactly what you're betting on. Oh, yeah. And this is one of the greatest bad beats of all time. This is a moose and a half. <laughs> all right. So this is, I mean, this is back in the day. And a lot of the prop stuff we're going to talk about sometimes is back in the day because there were some remarkable opportunities back in the day. Nobody wants to hear old-time stories. Here's a quick one. Uh, all right. 2000 NFC Championship game. A better thinks the Giants defense is going to shut down the Vikings. So he bets Minnesota kicker Gary Anderson under six points for the game. Makes a great bet. Giants win 41 to nothing. There was never a chance of Anderson going over. He can't make a better read than that. So he goes to cash his ticket. He doesn't get paid. He only gets a refund. He's furious. The cashier doesn't understand. The supervisor doesn't understand. They call someone from the administration room to do the grading to deal with it. The ticket says, very clearly on the ticket, any player must play to have action. It saves the sportsbook from getting killed on unders with guys that are injured. So what happened? Well, Gary Anderson was the field goal kicker and the point after guy for the Vikings. He wasn't the kickoff guy. Mitch Berger was the kickoff guy. Berger kicks off the first play of the game. Anderson never took the field. The better made a perfect bet, but by the phrasing of that bet, all he got was a push, not a win. That's the type of thing you need to be aware of, particularly here in Las Vegas. Incredible story. And I'm from Minnesota. I remember the game. The Vikings were favored. They lost 41 to nothing in that one. It was 14 to nothing. Giants like five minutes in. Number three, handicap the game first. How do you think the game's going to play out before you get into the prop board? Well, that's the key to how to make money with props. All right. Think about the game. Go through the concepts of how Coach A is likely to prepare for Coach B and how Coach B, or uh, we, have specific, we have specific coaches' names. I suppose I can use them, uh, you know, uh, of how Belichick and Quinn are likely to match up against one another. When you look at the handicaps, hey, is New England going to try to throw the football? Is New England more likely to run the football? Are they going to play fast? Are they going to play slow? The same handicaps you're going to use for your game analysis, you're going to use for your prop analysis, that's where you're most likely to make money. Okay. How about props? Well, yeah. I mean, I just want to say that we talk a lot about the props and back in the day, back in the day. Look, last year, just about every year I go down to the Westgate for the Thursday night openers. It's a lot of fun. You know, a ton of wise guys in town. And everyone kind of gets together down at the, down there and it makes a couple of bets and sometimes makes a bunch of bets. So last year I'm down at the Westgate and no one was betting anything. I mean... The biggest line movers, because you always see the lines get bounced around that, that first night. Big line moves. And the biggest line movers last year from the, the props at the Superbook were like total tackles among obscure defenders. You know, 
there weren't a whole lot of weak numbers to pounce on. The numbers have gotten better over the years, Paulie. They really have. And there's not as much now when it comes to weak stuff, especially on Thursday night. Still a lot of fun to go down there. And if you're in Las Vegas, I recommend it wholeheartedly. You're going to meet a lot of interesting people at the Westgate tonight if you go at the Superbook. But, you know, um, in terms of finding great bets, there aren't that many. There really are. Yep. And talking to a friend yesterday, he actually had the, an old sheet from the Green Bay New England Super Bowl from the Imperial Palace, which was only six or seven pages. Now you got 400 of these things that the Westgate will put out tonight. How about some props you cannot beat? Well, look, I, I mean, I got a press release from a bookmaker, from Brett, Brett Chris, uh, yesterday. You know, the coin toss, heads minus 103, tails minus 103. No, <laughs> you can't beat that one. Oh, but it's reduced juice. Uh, you can't beat it. You want action? You can bet it, but you can't beat it. You know, will the team that win the toy coin toss win the game? Hey, that's minus 103 too. Team to choose the coin toss will be right. Minus 103, yeah. Player calling the coin toss will call heads or tails. Yeah, good luck with those type of props. Again, you need action. You want action. More power to you. Anyone making su- substantial wagers on those type of bets, you know, that's for fun. It's for action. It's not for building your bank. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.